Hello everybody, welcome to Bragg's Loft. I hope you enjoy the video. Well guys, today is a good day for uh, pigeon release. Wind blowing in the right direction. Home is that way. And as you can see, I got a nice big open field here. Goes all the way around. Same with over here, nice big open field. And uh, should be, uh, we're five miles from the house. We're gonna let the birds go and hopefully the best so and see what happens <laughs> that's the game plan anyways so but uh anyways here we go we're gonna let them out got a couple went wrong not with the group Whoop, there they go Nice big group. Yes, sir. Very cool. Thank you. Well, they're still doing their circling, trying to figure out where they're at. But that's okay. They'll figure it out. Hopefully, I can uh, catch them coming and I get home. So, at least that's the game plan. Hopefully you guys can see it and not the sunlight's not too hitting you too bad, so. Look at there. Their birds almost beat me home. That's a good thing. <laughs> that means they're doing good. They're figuring it out. That's awesome. Glad to see that. Well guys, I did three tosses at five miles and now we are at 10 miles. So I figured uh, we'll let them go here in a minute. I just been letting them settle down a little bit, but that's the game plan. And we got a nice big open spot here. Be kind of interested to see how it goes, so. We did lose a couple birds uh, yesterday, so it happens. Anyways, you know, what do you do? Ain't much you can do about it except for kind of keep going with training, so, all right. Time to let them go. Wind's strong today, but it's blowing, should blow them right home today, so it should be easy for them. At least that's the whole game plan. <laughs> mm. oh, can't. I see one, but I don't see any. Oh, there the rest of them are. They're heading the right direction, so that's a good thing. Well, guys, I'm. Uh, here to do another training toss and I want to tell you, tell you a little story kind of what happened last weekend uh, I started out did three tosses at uh, five mile mark and then I went out to 10 miles and <clears throat> found out that I only had 16 birds home on the day that I did my 10 mile toss out of 70 birds which is not good so I'm not sure exactly what happened if they got a hawk head 
you know hit them or something i am not sure you know I'm, i i don't have a gps or any cameras on the birds or anything like that you don't be able to tell where the birds are and all that fun stuff but needless to say out of 70 birds i only have uh 48 left which is kind of disappointing but what do you do so i'm scaling it back a little bit and trying to, to do only five miles and doing it in uh four different directions and i usually do that to start out with actually i usually start a mile and then go from there and then you know do all four directions and then you know jump it to two miles and then four miles and but uh after talking to a few of my friends that uh you know been doing this a lot longer than me one of the guys actually does 30 miles but he waits until the birds are routing and that's my issue with my birds is they'll fly a lot fly but they don't route and that's the only way to end up starting to do the one miles and two miles and you know, all that fun stuff and my birds are still not routing like they should but uh decided to um start them out at five miles instead of one mile because you know it seemed to work and when i was doing it the first three tosses at uh the five mile mark that's the second and third time they almost beat me home i mean i literally pulled in the driveway got out of the vehicle and they were there so that's why i figured well shoot i'll just do it 10 miles i gotta go that direction anyway it's the same direction i've been tossing them the only difference it was it was 10 miles instead of five and i didn't get very many home i was like very very disappointed but it does happen so but again now i'm at five miles again but i am straight north of my property and i am in a big nice big open field as you can see here no power lines anything like that they can get hung up on which is a good thing i'm just kind of waiting for these guys to settle down a little bit and then we'll let them go so i'll uh, touch back back to you in just a second well guys these guys are about ready to go so i am about ready to let them go and hopefully you know we'll see what happens and i'm hoping for the best so at least that's the game plan anyways here we go we'll let them out Oop. <laughs> it flew right between the trees there I didn't think they would quite do that, considering, but they're up in the air now. I was hoping they'd fly straight more that way right away, but you know, to get up in the air, but we got a nice big group though. Got a few scragglers in there. There you go. Now they got them all together. They're heading the right direction at least, so. Well guys, uh, beat them home. I figured I would, just cause for some fact as I took them a whole totally different direction. Um, they should be coming from that direction. And that is a game plan anyways. I'm gonna sit out here hopefully to see what time they get home and uh, I'll kind of keep you posted, so. Well, guys, I uh, was, got tired of waiting for the birds yesterday. Um, they took a little longer than I expected to, which is okay. That's because I took them a whole different ball game, but I do have all the birds back, which is awesome. You know, as I said, I've been trying to change it up a little bit and take uh, um, five miles in all four directions. And as long as it quits raining today, I'll take them back to the same spot again today and let them go and uh, kind of go from there. So. And that's, that's two directions, and then I have to go the other two directions a couple more times, and we we'll, should be able to find our way home but really easy. So I do have a few extra, you know, birds in here that uh, are a little bit older. For example, is the one here. It is a hen that I threw in with these guys because 
Uh, another friend of mine recommended that I throw, you know, a couple birds that have been raced before, including this one here and this one here that I take and throw them in there with them. So that kind of helps teach them, you know, to where your home is, which is a good thing. So, but uh, just wanted to kind of show you that and um, let you know what, what, how those things are going. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. So please like, share, and leave a comment below. And thanks again for watching.